Huh? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Okay, what's going on here? <sighs> All right, rods, check. Backpack, check. Think we're good to go. Well, if you couldn't tell already, ladies and gents, we are getting into the absolute fix of it this morning. Hoot. And hopefully it's going to be very, very well worth it. I really think it is going to be. I'm gonna explain a little later as per usual. Right now we're just focused on getting to the location, getting to the honey hole, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get into depth of what we're doing today. But if you look around, you can tell we are absolutely on a certified fishing mission this morning. This is by far the, the best way to start a fishing mission, in my opinion. Um, not know where your next step is gonna be. <laughs> there you go, that's exactly what we want. Here we go, we're just gonna go straight through it. We're jumping straight into it this morning. Welcome back, ladies and gents. We got, uh, we got quite the body of water behind us and you guys are gonna see why we uh, went through all that crap to get here. Today is gonna be one of uh, probably the best fishing days of uh, 2024, this year. But before any of that action can happen, we need to make it through the rest of these woods. So if you'll excuse me, we got a little more uh, trekking, a little more cutting down the branches with uh, these bad boys before we before we even get a line wet. So uh, I'll meet up with you guys in a second. Let's not uh, go in quicksand here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Big bass, uh, here we come. Whoa. All right, so this is it. This is the uh, the pretty much random body of water in the middle of nowhere we're going to be fishing today. And like I hyped it up in the intro, hopefully it's going to it's going to prove my point that this is one of the uh, greatest bodies of water I have uh, pretty much ever fished in my life. Greatest bass bodies of water. Uh, disclaimer: If you look around, it just looks like a puddle. I mean, as of right now, in the middle of the woods with a, a random creepy farm that just happens to lurk and view over it. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, this is a, a completely public body of water, but it's what I like to describe as like a hidden, uh, almost abandoned trophy bass pond. And you'll see, hopefully you'll realize why I call it a trophy pond today. But if you're relatively new to the channel, welcome, first of all, we've gotten a, a ton of new viewers lately and thank you. Let's, let's keep the momentum going. You know, let's keep growing this spring. Let's make 2024 a great year. The reason I love this spot so much is because it holds some really, really big fish. And uh, like I said, if, if you've been with the channel for a good bit, you know that. We've came here probably and filmed two or three videos here and each time we've caught at least one really big fish. I think last time we fished here was last spring and we caught like a 6.1 or something. I think, I don't even think we had a scale on us, but it was at least a six pounder off a bed, off half of a fluke. I, I don't even know how it happened. And that's why I'm so stoked to be back here. We literally, we haven't fished here since last spring. Finally, it's fishing season again, baby. I mean, we fish all season, of course, but it's officially fishing season back. And we're, we're back at one of my favorite bodies of water I've ever fished. As you can tell, it looks a little different. It looks like it's being drained. It's either like really dried up from a lack of rain or it's like, it's, it's draining somehow. I don't really know exactly what's going on, but um, I think the fish should still be hungry. Today we're fishing a, a really cool body of water that holds some really big bass and it's fishing season. It couldn't get much better than this. All right, you guys know what I like to say. Enough yapping, let's rig up some rods. Let's catch some big bass out of this abandoned trophy, creepy farm backwoods pond. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but uh, let's find some fish. All right, let's get our big booties out here. Oh, this mud's a little sticky, a little slippery. Um, yeah, we can go set up right here. I like this. This is looking interesting. So like I said, I haven't seen the lake this slow ever before in my entire life. It's, it's usually filled up, like usually where we are standing right now would be about a foot. No, yeah, I mean, right there, let's say right there would be about a foot or two of water. We'd probably be like in the mud practically right now, which we still kind of are, but. <laughs> so yeah, we're fishing a, a little bit different than how we've usually fished this lake, but that shouldn't be a problem for us. The big bass are still in here, and if anything, they are, um, they're more concentrated. Let's get ourselves rigged up. We got three rods out here today. I think we're gonna be 
mostly throwing one of them. Our 7.3 heavy jig rod out here is gonna be uh, really the workhorse of today. And that's because the uh, main purpose of today is to find some, some absolute mondos. Backpack rod. I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave the bag here because we're kind of trapped on this island. So essentially what we have here is a a big pond or small lake out in the middle of the woods we got like a little farm up there like somebody's personal property farm going on but this lake is pretty much just surrounded by woods so it's like a, a backwoods you know hidden little fishing gem and it's completely okay to for us to fish here it's not like we're hopping on somebody's property it's just that nobody else fishes here it's like it's like unknown pretty much we got about eight hours out here today before dark i think we'll be good to go i think that's enough time the goal i don't know screw it the goal is to fish and not fall in quicksand oh that's a fish oh my god it just broke off on a monster oh my god First cast, oh my God. Oh, it's jumping, all right, it's like three pounds. Oh my God, okay, I'm glad it jumped. Now I feel bad because my damn jig and it's, is in its face hole, but that was only about a three pounder, four, maybe four. I thought I had a monster. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I kid you not, first cast. Oh my God, he completely broke my leader off. Dude, my knot is just cooked. No, he broke the mono inside of the knot. How does it even happen? All right, well, first cast and we lost our, our, our jig. Good thing we bring more than one jig fishing. But dude, he came, I was reeling it up. He smoked it right at the bank. I had 0 0.02 seconds to set the hook. I set the hook, my rod is completely bent. And then like that. All right, well, you guys know, we're jumping straight into it. The big fish are active. <laughs> I guess they are. Yeah, that was like a three, four. I thought I, I thought I just lost like a six, but no, that wasn't anything huge. He just came up to the bank and smoked it. Smoked it. This looks fairly natural. All right, let's try this again. Oh, that's one. That was a bite. Oh, he's messing with it. He feels small. Yep, that's him. Oh, pole, dude. No way. Dude, they are here. All right. Now right, let's gather our utensils. As much as I think we could probably stick on this point, and catch bass on both sides of it. We got a, a, a big body of water to explore. Now, don't get me wrong, we are definitely gonna be coming back here later. This drop off looks amazing. We, we already lost two fish here, one of biggin. But the banks of this place looks so good. Uh, so we're gonna go explore it. Oh my God, dude, what in the world? <laughs> oh my God. This stuff might actually be quicksand. It ain't quick enough though. You know we're like Sonic the Hedgehog over here, baby. Let's go. We'll have to be, oh shoot. That's deep. That's really deep. A little bit further. Oh shoot, oh man. Oh man, here we go. Step on the stick. Oh God. All right, dry land it is. Oh, there's a good bass. Oh, there he is. He's sitting on bed right there. Oh my God, there's like a five. Oh my God, that's the female. There's a male that's like three and a half. That's a big in. Oh, she's coming over. The male's got it. So I just broke off on that fish. I don't even know how my knot broke. 
How are we breaking off on fish like that? What's wrong with this leader, dude? I did just break off on that fish, but he swam away like nothing happened and he's already back. We gotta go grab another rod. That fish is already back on bed. If we could get that fish and then get our damn lure back, that'll be fantastic because that was my last bullet weight. He's checking out. He's about to eat it. Yep, he just ate it. Does he have it? Yep. Got him, got him. Get up here. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I thought I just lost my rod. Oh, I did. I just broke my rod, bro. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, we gotta get up here. We don't want to spook the other one. I just snapped my rod, bro. God damn it. <sighs> Look at that fish, though. That's gotta be the female. See how fat she is? Holy pajoli. I don't know what to say. I just broke off on, I think, maybe it was the other one. I think it was this one, though. This is the smaller one. I guess he doesn't have the, the bandito bug in his face, which is a good thing. But I just broke off on this fish. I just hooked him. And I just high stick my rod. I don't. I, d I didn't even think we'll have to replay the footage. I didn't think I high sticked him that bad. And then I just, I hear a snap, and I thought I broke my line. And I look at my rod, and it's completely broken. Well, hey, at least we caught one. <laughs> First fish of the day. Now you see why I'm saying this place holds giants. This is like would be a three and a half pounder, but this is four and a half, maybe, maybe still about a four. This would be like a three pounder, but this is like a four and a half pound fish. We're gonna get them right back. Beautiful fish. Guard those babies. Thank you. All right, we're gonna touch you, big girl or big boy. I don't know what you are. If you're a male, you're freaking monstrous. That means the female's gotta be like six pounds. We're gonna put you literally right back on your bed. Thank you, bud. Oh my God, look at the shoulders on that fish. She's going out, but her bed's right there. So I'm sure you usually they'll hop on it between five and 10 minutes. Honestly, sometimes I'll hop on it within two. I wanna see that footage, bro. Like, cause I completely broke it, dude. I mean, it broke, broke. Like it wasn't even near the tip. Like it was like halfway down, dude. That's nuts. Oh my God, there's a giant bass right there. Holy crap, it's like a five pounder. Watch this, this is gonna be so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> There's no way he sees me. I'm literally inside of a tree right now. It's as camouflage as you can get. Just dangle the rod over his bed. Make a little pitch. We're in business. Oh, she's going straight towards it too. One of them is looking at it, the small one, the two pounder. Oh my God, that's like a six. Oh, she's going towards it. No way, that's like a seven. That's a giant. Oh my God. She's checking it out. He's about to eat it. Dude, come on. Dude, that thing's head is like this wide. Oh my God. Yeah, let's just fish down this bank. This should be good right here. This looks like prime spawning territory. Prime post-spawn, pre-spawn, and spawn territory. Oh, that's a fish. He's got it. And I got him, yes sir. Well, it feels like a good one. Oh, this could be a big one. Oh, this could be a big one. That looks like a good fish, dude. Oh, that's a solid one. That's a good fish. He almost took the rod out of my hand, dude. Oh, I knew they had to be off the dam, dude. The jig off the dam goes undefeated. Come on, come on. That's a solid fish, baby. Hey. We will take it. He ain't giant, but he's most definitely not small. Most definitely not small, dude. Look at how he inhaled that jig. That is freaking awesome. Finally got to this dam. We've been working our way. Ooh, just popped out right like that. That was way too sketchy. We've been working our way to it this whole day. Getting to a midday point, the sun's breaking loose. And we're still catching fish, but it's it's been a little, it's been partially a struggle. It's been a little bit slow. 
but we've been consistently getting good fish. No giants yet, but also nothing small. So we'll take it, real pretty one. Look at you right back. Look at that, you can tell here she has been up shallow making some beds too, getting a little bit active. All right, well, appreciate you guy. We'll get you back where you belong. Hey, I'll take consistent three pounders all day. That's a pretty fish, dude. We're just waiting for one like, you're free? Triple the size of this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that, pretty release, baby. All right, we'll take it. That's like a, that's a half point marking in our day, I think right there. We're sticking with the, the three pound and up gain so far. Um, we need to get that like five plus though. But hey, we're getting good fish. Let's keep working our way down this dam. Yeah, I, I knew there had to be a damn fish somewhere off this dam. No pun intended. <laughs> damn fish somewhere off this dam. Oh, he hit it all the way out there. I love that. First fish not off bed as well. And I don't want to be catching bed fish all day, so that's beautiful. It feels so cool being out here. It's just like empty out here, just in the middle of a beautiful grass field, a little sewer right there, and a lake in front of us. And there's for some reason a lot of planes. Oh, that's another fish. Same spot. She's got it. Yep, got her. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She either, she's either real mean or real big. Oh, that's a big one. That's a lot bigger than the last one. Oh, oh, that's like a five. That's like a five pounder. Same exact spot, dude. No way. Oh, dude, she's strong. Don't jump. Don't jump. That's a good one. Dude, is that the, is that the same fish? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yes, sir. Whoa, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that girl, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> that is a little bit larger, dude. <laughs> Same exact location as the last one. That's like a four pounder all day. That is a good fish. I don't know why, dude, but they barely get hooked. If, if I'm not keeping these fish tight, they could throw the hook like nothing. Dude, look how short and stocky this darn fish is. Oh my God. She's the definition of thick with a double Q. Holy bajoli. That's probably the biggest fish of the day. That's like a four and a half all day. Look at that fish. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. We're still going up, baby. Upgrading size. This jig is being put to an absolute beating right now. Dude, that feels so good. You're getting kind of dumped into a little lull there. Not many bites going on. A little slow. Finally getting back on our horses and hooking some fish. Not off bed either. I love that, dude. Much rather catch like a, a, a five pounder out, out here than a six and a half off bed. I just, I just prefer to catch them like this, you know? A little more fun, a little more interesting. Put, oh dude, this looks picture perfect right here. Good. If I was a fish, that's probably where I'd be. Come on, I'm not there to be a big one somewhere on this thing. We gonna sneak up on these fish. Oh, that's what I love about this lake, dude. In one moment we're fishing, catching fish off a complete open area, no trees around. And now we're about as thick as you can get into the woods. Kind of hunting these fish almost. And I keep my voice down too. It's just so wicked, it's so unique. That's a fish. Does he still have it? Barely. He's munching it. Hook sets are free. Yep, got him. There he is. I don't think he's that big. He's acting all goofy. Yeah, he ain't big. He's acting weirdly goofy. <laughs> I'm like a damn catfish. Weird little fish. Fatty, but man, he looks all messed up too, all ratchet. Appreciate you, bub. Whoa. 
All right, well, once again, the dogs are coming out, baby. So you know it's about to get good. What? The water looks like it's risen up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> it does look a little bit higher. Well, the full circle is about to be complete. This is the very location we started. We're about to end the day here, hopefully on a good note. We've pretty much fished every square foot of this bank you could fish. If we wanted to, we could go on that creepy farm, but like I said at the beginning of this video, and about three seconds ago, it's creepy, and uh, I ain't dealing with that today. Was that a fish? That is a fish. That feels like it might be a good one. Yep, got him. There we go. That feels like a solid one. That does feel like good. And hold up. Oh no, he's not that big. He ain't bad though. It's like a two pounder. Let's freaking go, dude. Back off the drop off. That's not a bad fish. We'll get him up here. <laughs> Where are we gonna bring him up? To our feet? We're already in the darn water. <laughs> there we go. Hey, that ain't a bad fish. It's, it's not a good one, but uh, <laughs> you don't hear me complain about fish ever. There you go, dude. He smoked the jig. We made a full loop all the way back to the uh, the point we started at. Fished the whole main lake for the whole middle of the day, but it's back to evening. It's back. The sun is slowly starting to set. The clouds have kind of retreated. They're coming back a little bit here. We gave up on the bed fish. They're too hard to catch. They just are. And uh, we're going back to what we do best. Fish the drop-offs with jigs and, and then we're catching fish. That's a good sign. Hopefully we're going to find one that could very well eat that because this is a uh, this is not the the fish that resembles the trophy lake we're fishing today but hey it's a fish thank you buddy we'll get you back we'll get you back safe and sound this is so cool dude we just got the dogs out we got the rods out and now we got the uh, the bass out appreciate you he's gonna kick i told you dude i can just tell hey that's another fish in the uh in the water, in the in the land, in the boat, in the water, baby. Let's go. Let's catch another. Tipping toes, tiptoeing in my feet, baby. Oh wow! What the hell? <laughs> That's not real sand, right there. Come on, dude. I'd love to hook a giant off this. Wow, dude. I keep sinking into this. This is not real sand. This is quicksand. Yep, got him. There he is. Feels like a good one too. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a solid one. There we go, baby. There we go. That's a good fish, baby. Not giant. That's like a three, four pounder right there though. Come on, come on, come on. Get up here. Yup, let's go. That is sick, dude. That is what I'm freaking talking about. That is literally the coolest way you can possibly catch a fish right there, baby. Knee deep in the water, casting at this lake. Holy crap, dude. That is awesome. That's not, that's not, a, that's not a giant, but that's a good fish. I'm just like, it, it makes it 10 times more exciting when you're fishing a scene like this. I mean, look at that. Beaut, absolute beaut. It's probably like a three and a half. Maybe if we're lucky, four pounder. Nah, dude, let's we'll try to three, three and a half pounder to be realistic. That's a pretty fish though. Right right off this little stick in the water, right off the drop off, still fishing this drop off. This guy takes it immediately when it hits the water. He pulls it, I get one hook set. He tries to take me around that stick. Not today, little guy, not today. We're still looking for one that could uh, eat this guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not looking for one that could eat this guy, but we're looking for a fish like double this size. We're still looking for that five, six pounder. We've seen them on bed, we've seen them shallow. We know they're in here. We just gotta get one to eat this jig. But hey, we're upgrading, baby. One pounder about 10 minutes ago, three pounder now. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. We'll get you right back where you'll, you belong. Go make those children. You got a pretty release on you. Man, that's a, that's a healthy fish right there, baby. You guys can see why these fish can get so, so big and girthy in this water. I mean. 
the shoulders on that fish. The genetics are just like out of this world. The wake as he swims off. Hey baby, we're getting it done. We still got an hour of daylight here. You probably got a, a hundred hungry fish out there. One of them has to be a, has to be a giant. All right, let's keep casting, baby. Whoa, that is sick. So good. Oh, I love that, man. He tried, he tried to wrap me around that damn stick. That stick started moving. I thought I had a big, big one. Not a giant, but oh my God, dude, that's so fun. That's so fun, man.